Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the X-16 from Bay Ang Toys. It's a GPS quadcopter, um, and we're gonna check it out, so stay tuned. So the X-16 is a uh, kind of phantom-sized quadcopter. It's got a little bit of heft to it, and it has, uh, its big differentiator is it has GPS. And so it should stay in one location if you're just hovering, which makes flying a lot easier. Now, this one did not come with a camera, but it does have a slot on the bottom for a camera that should, um, should be able to slip in there pretty easily. Uh, it's also got a open spot where I assume the power for the camera would run into so that you can actually power the camera from this spot. And it does come with a remote that has um, some, some displays down here on the bottom where you can see some different levels of where you're at and stuff like that. Uh, again, my big question with this, it's, it's a brushed quad, it's, it's um, not a brushless. My big question is whether it's going to hold well in a little bit of breeze, which there is right now, there's some breeze. So we're gonna see if it'll actually do that. One other quick note I wanna make about the X16 is that it does have landing gear that goes into these little slots right here using some tiny screws. We started to put it on, it was a real pain. Uh, the screwdriver that comes with it is not really big enough. So, um, so we just didn't put the landing gear on. We don't have a camera. If you were gonna use it with a camera, you would wanna have the landing gear on, but since, since I don't have a camera for it, um, I'm not gonna use the landing gear. I do have a SEMA X5 or X8C, a SEMA X8 camera that I might try on this thing, uh, but I don't have with me today. But this thing actually looks a lot like a SEMA uh, X8 in terms of size, the motors, etc but it does uh, have GPS, which the SEMA doesn't have. So let's take it up and see how it does holding in position. Hopefully it's uh, had enough time sitting here on to lock onto some satellites and uh, let's see what it does. So as I said, you pull the sticks down and in to start the motors. And there it is. It is, uh, so I just let go of the sticks and it is holding position actually pretty well. Look at that, I'm not holding the sticks at all. That is, uh, that is it just sitting there using the satellites to stay in one place, which is pretty awesome. Um, gonna give it a little bit of a flight up, there we go. Again, it's holding in position using the satellites. Uh, wow, I've, I've not seen a cheap uh, GPS drone hold quite that well. Um, now, there are a couple of buttons. There's one that I assume is for um, taking a picture or a camera. This one, this one must change your rates. Uh, one beep is gonna be your low rate, which is what I'm in right now. Two beeps is gonna be your high rate. Oh yeah, I can see the difference. And by the way, this thing has a 3S, um, this thing has a 3S battery in it. Uh, it's like a 2200 milliamp hour 3S battery. So it's a pretty hefty battery for a quad this size. And that may be why it's got a little bit of uh, good strength. It's, uh, it's kind of heavy. It isn't super responsive. It's a little bit lumbering to fly, but, um, but it's also seems to have plenty of power. Let me take it out and just uh, do a little bit of zipping around with it. Now one thing, when you let go of the sticks, it does uh, try to come to a stop wherever it is. This is the auto takeoff and landing, and so you basically hold this button down for a couple of seconds, and it should take off automatically. Now you might have to have the motors spun up when you do that, so let me spin up the motors, and I'm gonna hold down this button. And there we go, it just took off, and it's actually hovering, hovering in place pretty well. Now I'm gonna try the auto landing. I'm just gonna push this button again, and it should auto land. Yeah, okay. So the auto takeoff and landing seems to work pretty well. Uh, and then this button over here is to put it in headless mode. Headless mode is basically where 
uh, it doesn't matter which direction it's facing, uh, the stick is always the same, meaning that if you push the stick away from you, it'll go away. If you push the stick left, it'll go left. If you push the stick right, it'll go right. Um, it's a good way to start. I don't recommend using it exclusively because you'll never learn how to be a better drone pilot, but it is a good beginner uh, way to fly. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try out the headless mode. I'm gonna use the auto takeoff. So first I'm gonna spin up the motors, hold down the takeoff button, let it take off. Now I'm gonna hit it into headless mode. Can you hear that beeping? That must be telling me it's in headless mode. So, yep, you can tell it's in headless mode because I can spin and, and go at the same time in the same direction. It does that in headless mode. That beeping indicates headless mode. Uh, and I'm, I'm uh, not, it is definitely working in headless mode. I am not a big fan of headless mode, so I'm gonna take it out of headless mode so that I can control it a little bit better. right over us. Avoid that tree. It's got a decently fast yaw rate. But again, I'm just impressed with the GPS. I'm gonna put it right there and I'm just gonna let go of the stick. And I'm not touching the stick right now and it is just holding rock steady. Now the breeze has died down so there isn't a whole lot of wind. But again, uh, the GPS is pretty impressive in terms of uh, it holding in one place. It comes down very slowly. That's uh, me push, pulling the stick all the way down. Notice when I let go of the stick how it kind of gyrates like that. It's because the GPS is holding it in place. Basically, um, the GPS is fighting your forward motion all the time. So when you let go of the stick, it wants to stop. And that's what makes it all kind of rocky like that. It's interesting. It's, it's, uh, it's not very crisp to fly, but it, it does, I mean, it's responsive. It's got a fair amount of power, which is, uh, I guess it's saving grace in terms of um, how it handles this. But, it's a little weird to fly because when you let go, it kind of does this rocking motion. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that, Bryson. So if you notice how it, how it just kind of rocks when you let go. Anyway, I'm gonna try the auto land one more time. The GPS works great. Um, it's not super windy today, but there was a bit of breeze earlier and it was holding in one place without any trouble. I just let go of the sticks. I couldn't figure out how to flip it, but honestly, I'm not that worried about it. If you want a drone that flips, this probably isn't the best one for it. Um, it does come with a camera. I'm gonna try putting one of my SEMA cameras on it and see if that works, but uh, for right now, I, I know it would work with a camera. And of course, it does have landing gear. I just didn't put the landing gear on because I don't have the camera and it was just extra weight and extra time uh, that I didn't want to deal with. Uh, it has a really good sized battery. Again, like 2500 or 2800 or 2200 milliamp hour, I forget which, 3S batteries, which is a good sized battery for a quad this size. And it, um, it has plenty of power. The, the weird thing about it is as you fly it, again, when you let go of the stick, the GPS wants it to stop. So it's kind of like, almost like flying a boat. It's kind of rocky all the time, which I find interesting. It's not a bad thing. It's just a different flight experience than I'm used to with other drones. Uh, overall, I like it. It's, uh, it impresses me more than I thought it would, especially the GPS part of it. So if you want to check it out, I've got a link in the description for uh, the uh, X16. It, uh, has pricing and the full specifications, motor sizes, all that good stuff, uh, flight times. Um, I imagine with this big of a battery, you're going to get a pretty good flight time out of it. Although I, you know, I charged it up. We've been flying it for about 20, 30 minutes on and off, and it still seems to have plenty of juice. I haven't gotten any low battery warnings. Check out the description or the, or the link in the description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos about drones, especially uh, GPS drones, 
subscribe to Ready Set Drone. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.